Hey guys, what's up? Today, my mic quality is a little bad because I can't find my mic and I'm having to use a, a earbud mic for my Apple earbuds. So it's not going to be high quality, but I'm going to teach y'all about LMMS today. Linux multimedia software. It's free to download. Easy to use once you get the hang of it. A little confusing at first, but once you learn like the ins and outs, you'll be fine. And so today I'm just going to teach you about this main thing right here, the thing I have enlarged. This is called your song editor. That's here, hold up, I'll show you. That's the legitimate title of it. It's called a song editor. Uh, these right here, as soon as here, we'll, we'll start a new project. Project, new. As soon as you start a new project, you have a triple oscillator, a sample track, beat baseline zero, and automatic automation track. My bad. But anyways, what we're going to be focusing on today is the triple oscillator, because it's the easiest one to learn out of these. And then we don't need the samples. We'll learn about that stuff in the next video. So triple oscillator is uh, what you do. Click on it. Takes you right here. This is essentially an instrument. at the pitch so it doesn't edit it that much um because oh because i didn't mess you gotta mess with the range too right here we'll learn about envelopes and functions and effects later uh you can just do oh god anyways sorry about that you can just do like basic messing with it, you know, that makes it sound terrible, sounds kind of foggy, but you know what I mean, you come here, change the wavelength, yeah, there's that, and so, in order to get any of this to, oh, one more thing, this is your volume right here, you know, all the way off, all the way up, you know, the differences. I shouldn't have to explain volume to anyone watching this. This is your pan, in case you had no idea. If you go like this, all the sound will be in your left earbud or the left side of the speakers or whatever you're listening to. It'll just sound like it's coming from the left, and then vice versa with the right side. Oh god. Close enough. Sample track, we won't learn about that right now. Alright, so you double click, you see these black spaces right here, all these little black boxes. Let's uh, double click, enlarge this. This is your piano roll. This is how to make songs the easiest. So, just make sure, here's your tools, you have, it's like a cut tool, this is a selector, this is an eraser. This is what we're going to be focusing on, this is pencil, because you can erase using a right click. See, look, I'll put that there, right click. But this is literally the easiest way just to make any sort of beat. Just wherever you want to put it. Oh god. This is how that works. You can also mess with the tempo. 120 is usually universal. Put it 120. So yeah, there's that. And then let's play it out here. Now this thing, it doesn't stop or loop or anything. It'll go on forever. So in order to, if you want to loop the beat, you could either do it the hard way, which is right click, hit copy, and then put it back in there. Or what you could do is just hold control, click on this, and drag it out. And let go. For every time. So that, that situated. Alright, so I think we're going to stop the video here. I will see y'all next time. And next time, I will teach y'all about the presets and the samples. And how to get those open and how to use them. Alright, see y'all.